Do you remember the moment in Avengers Age of Ultron when Vision casually lifts Thor's armor? That's a jaw dropping realization moment. It's not a robot, it's something more. Well, open A just dropped O3. And let's just say it's not Skynet yet, but it's close enough to make your jaw drop again. Is this the AI revolution we all been waiting for? Or should we start building bunkers? Let's decode O3 in this video. So, what's all this hype about O3? Open A's new baby isn't just an upgrade. It has moved from your Ludo champion to can beat chess masters in their sleep level of reasoning. And get this, it is so good it aced RKJ benchmark. Let me break this down. This test basically asks AI to solve problems it has never seen before. And O3 crushed it like a pro. But here's the kicker. It's already smarter than us in many areas. Okay, let's nerd out for a second. In this RKJ benchmark, it scored 87.5%. That's like going from a high school topper to Nikola Tesla in 3 months. This is more than an evolution. But wait, there's more. O3 didn't just ace RKJ. It's crushing it everywhere. On the SWE benchmark, which tests coding in real world scenarios, O3 hit 71.7%, a massive leap from its predecessor. And on math, it jumped from a mere 2% to 25% on the Apo AI Frontier math benchmark. That's like going from counting on your fingers to solving equations Einstein would have struggled with. And get this, O3 is ranked 175 globally on the code forces, the Olympics of competitive coding. So yeah, human coders, maybe start brushing your resumes. Now you are probably wondering, numbers are great, but what does it mean for me? Picture this, O3 doesn't just fetch your coffee order or write cute emails. This beast could eventually tackle real world reasoning problems like curing diseases, planning space missions, or figuring out why your plant is dying despite all your love and overpriced fertilizers. For instance, two days ago, Russia has announced the development of an mRNA cancer vaccine, with A playing a crucial role in accelerating the process. A powered algorithms are helping researchers design personalized cancer vaccines in under an hour cutting down what used to take days or even weeks. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman called this the beginning of next phase of AI, but not everyone agreeing to it. According to Franco Charlotte, the guy who invented the RKJ benchmark, there are still tasks that AI can't solve, and said RKJ2 might leave O3 scratching its digital head. Now here's the drama, why didn't Altman go all out with an AGA announcement? Simple, legal clauses with Microsoft. If they declare AGI, Microsoft could cut them off. Plus, competitors like Google, Meta and Anthropic would probably come knocking. So yeah, it's like dropping a teaser trailer for a blockbuster movie and leaving us all hanging. You know what this reminds me of? Age of Ultron again. Tony Stark building Ultron, everyone's waving red flags, and he's like, don't worry, I've got this. And we all know how that played out at the end. This is AGA territory, and if all sci-fi movies have taught us anything, it's this. With great AI comes great responsibility, and maybe some killer robots? Just kidding. Or am I? Thankfully. OpenAI is building safeguards to ensure this thing doesn't go full Skynet on us. With O3 Mini dropping in Jan 25 and O3 soon after, we are stepping into a world where AI can truly reason. But now you can apply for the public security testing on OpenAI website. Oh, and heads up, this isn't just OpenAI flexing. Google's Gemini, Meta, and even Chinese AI models are racing towards this future. So what do you think? 
is O3 the first step towards AGI or are we still light years away from it? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit that like button and if you are new here, subscribe as well. Because next week we are unpacking videos from 12 days of OpenAI and breaking down the power packed Gemini 2.0 flash, an experimental model from Google. But before you go, think about this. Could AI actually take over your job? The reality might be more spine chilling than you imagine. So until next time, stay curious, stay innovative and I'll see you in the next video soon.